We're going to talk about economic methodology. We're going to kind of close up with economic methodology. I've said this repeatedly, but I want you to remember that economics is a social science. So it's under the umbrella with psychology, sociology, political science. It is a social science. Now, economists try to discover how the world works by examining two types of statements. Yeah? So economists try to discover how the world works by examining two types of statements. Here's the first one. The first one is what we call positive statements. The first one, positive statements. So you kind of try to discover how the world works by examining two types of statements. The first one, positive statements. Now positive statements are objective. The positive statements are objective. Positive statements are either right or wrong. The positive statements are objective. They're either right or wrong. They are based on facts and they can be easily Testing. The positive statements, objective, is a right or wrong, based on facts and can be easily tested. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Two types. Positive, here's the second one. Normative statements. Be careful here. Don't say positive and negative statements. Positive and normative statements. The normative statements, these are subjective. Does that mean they're more like opinions? They're based on opinion, absolutely. Positive statements, they're not easily tested. The normative, subjective, based on opinion, not easily tested. Suppose I made this statement and I said, inflation in the United States is too high. Is that a positive or a normative statement? Normative. Tell me why. Because it's, it's objective, it's your opinion. I say inflation is too high, you're absolutely right. First, you say what is too high in comparison to what? Are you comparing us to another country? Well, maybe if you're the Fed, you said inflation rate is okay. Maybe you say if we compare us to Germany, then the inflation rate is too low. Whatever the case might be, that too high. Definitely makes it a normative statement. You're absolutely right. What's your name back here? Michael. Michael? Suppose I said unemployment in the United States is 2%. That's uh, positive. Tell me why. Because 2%, so it's like a number, and you could actually go back and fact check to see if it's right. Firstly, is unemployment in the United States 2%? No. No. Right? Yeah. No. The reason why I ask that, you're absolutely right, by the way. It is a positive statement. Yeah? The reason why I ask that particular question is, a positive statement could be right or wrong. It's an incorrect statement, but you're absolutely right when you say, you could go check it. You could say, when I asked you guys, all of you said no. You could say, Casey, go check the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and you'll see that the unemployment rate is sitting closer to about 5.3%. And you're wrong, and I have to concede. So, that's a positive statement. 